Hi everyone, Richard here at Calvin Wazoo with another video and it's a, another contest entry. This time it's the five album contest that is being hosted by The Vinyl Guru. So there'll be a link in the down under to this contest and basically it's a very simple one. Just recommend five records. And this was a good one for me to participate in because I'm getting ready to go on vacation for a week. So here's, you know, another video. So uh, it isn't too long of a break between them. So, okay, five albums that I recommend, not just to the Vinyl Guru, but uh, to all of you in general. And some of these I've already done uh, videos about recently, but I'm going to briefly mention them again uh, just for this contest. So the first one is this one here. Okay. So this is the beautiful rivers and mountains, the psychedelic rock sound of South Korea's Shin Jung Hyun. Now, Shin was known as the godfather of psychedelic rock, godfather of rock in South Korea, um, has led a very interesting life. He's still alive. These and some other albums of his, now this is a compilation that covers uh, his career uh, from 1958 to 1974, um, but they're being reissued. So they should be available. I mean, I bought but these in a local record store, this one in a record store, and another one that I have. Um, fascinating life. He was a self-taught guitarist and also a music producer, very well-known music producer in South Korea. He was imprisoned by the South Korean dictatorship in the 70s and tortured um, all over a marijuana charge. Uh, but also because he refused to write a song for the dictator. Um, good stuff, uh, especially if you like, you know, some really nice psychedelic guitar. You'll hear all kinds of influences, but it's really clearly his style. Uh, uh, an amazing story, too. Um, I also talked about this one recently in another video, and that is this new release of the Boston Tea Party shows of Fleetwood Mac from uh, 1970. And this one is was released on Madfish label. Um, this is volume one, our three volumes, and uh, it's worth the money to get all three of them. And it's great concert recording. It's great live show recording. Plus it's also an interesting look into those final days of Fleetwood Mac when you had all together still Peter Green, Danny Kerlin, and Jeremy Spencer all together on stage before uh, before Green left, and then shortly after that, it uh, Spencer, you know, Green left because too much LSD. Uh, Spencer left. Uh, because he joined a Christian cult, and then um, Kerwin was left, and really, I think he's an underrated guitar player, um, but had tons of tons of issues to deal with, and then you know he eventually lost it, and the and the band forced him out. Uh, so yes, I would recommend this one also. So it's the uh, three volume set of uh, it's called Boston. Fleetwood Mac. This is as the Madfish label. An other recent reissue that for a long time, if you wanted this on vinyl, you were going to pay more than $100 for sure, uh, is this Johnny Flynn Alarum. Uh, Johnny Flynn is a folk singer-songwriter who's also done quite a bit of acting and uh, Interesting label here, just for uh, the one album. It's a it's a two album set. Really great storyteller in songs. Beautiful lyrics. Uh, wonderful melodies. 
one of my favorite lines uh, of all popular music is the one where he's singing, uh, pray for the pray for the people inside your head, for they won't be there when you're dead. You know, it's really good stuff. And it's now available. It's been reissued um, and at a you know reasonable price. Um, it's been a while since I've talked about this one, uh, but again, reissue. This is an older uh, album from the 70s, and it's one that if you wanted to get an original pressing, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Uh, but it's Ryu, uh, Ryuchi Sakamoto, who was one of the founding members of the Yellow Magic Orchestra. And this is the Thousand Knives of Ryuchi Sakamoto. Uh, I believe it was his debut. And uh, label here, the um, We Want Sounds. So yeah, it was originally released in 1978. Uh, great material. It's a mix of avant-garde jazz, electronica, um, and a little synth poppy. It's uh, wonderful stuff. I highly recommend that. And a lot of Asian music, East Asian music in here because I've just been discovering a lot of artists, and particularly Japanese math rock, Japanese jazz fusion. Uh, so uh, there's, there's just lots of material out there of really amazing stuff. And this one, another artist that I recently discovered and talked about in a previous vi uh, video. So if you want more information, I have links to those videos in the down under also. Uh, is this fellow here? This is Cornelius, Japanese uh, artist who is quite well known in Japan right now. And um, his music is, again, th and this album is a good one to start because it's a big, it is a huge mix where he goes from the um, Shinjuku bubblegum pop style to um, avant-garde jazz to math rocky type of material um, all in this album it just it but even though the styles tend to be all over the place they are woven together and the transitions are really uh, really good uh, the name of this album is Phantasma it is his second release I believe uh, again, I believe this was from the 19, potentially the 19, it's been a while, maybe 1990s or something, might even be earlier than that, or maybe it was the early 2000s. I mean, the date on this is um, 2010, but I'm just wondering if that's the reissue. Maybe it was a 2010 album. I mean, he's um, a, fair, a more recent pop phenom in... Uh, Japan. But anyway, these are my five recommendations for Vinyl Guru and for all of you as well. And please remember to always enjoy your music.